So the final DLC pack for Call of Duty Ghost dropped today. It's called Nemesis. There's four new maps plus the final part of the Extinction Saga. We're going to look at all four maps very quickly today. This one, Alex, is called... This is Sub-Zero. It is a Canadian kind of evacuated naval base. Basically, it's like a traditional sort of three-lane design. It's a sort of mid-range mid map. When you're outside, there's quite a few long-range sight lines. So for snipers out there, outside is probably where you're going to get most of your kills. But when you go inside, there's a lot more sort of tight corners. So that's when you're going to start switching to your like, yeah, AR. And I, 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 I had a terrible time on this map. <laughs> I got sniped outside and machine gun in the face inside. Yeah, I found uh, outside was probably my, my worst time on this map. I mean, this is like... I, I, like, I really like the look of this map. It also reminds me of uh, the snowy map in Modern Warfare 2. But... In terms of actual like out of the map pack, this is probably my least favourite one so far. I definitely stuck more inside because I'm more of an SMG player, so when I went outside, that's when I had the most trouble. Ready for delivery. Second up is Gold Rush, which is set in the Wild West. It's a uh, gold mine. This is a much bigger map, multi level tight spiralling corridors. This one suited my playstyle much better, running around with an MTAR, gunning people down at close range, and it's got some cool other features, Alex. Yeah, no, definitely. It's, I mean, one of the other cool features is the minecart, which I'll show you in a second. But yeah, back to your point before, it's a very vertical level. There are about kind of three, three to four sort of tiers to this level, so you want to kind of be playing up and down a lot of the time. Um, but it is quite close range, so SMG is definitely a good one on this, which again suits my playstyle as well. But this, this is my favourite thing, the minecart here. You do want to watch out because as you saw there, I can actually it does. You do actually take damage if it hits you, but otherwise you roll around like this. And you're kind of like a moving turret. And there are actually two minecarts that go around. So, you know, you can kind of have the enemy in one and you in the other one, which could be kind of cool. But, yeah, you could just sit in there for the whole game if you crash down. Uh, so do watch out for that one. Guard dog ready. Then we have Showtime, which is a remake of Shipment from the original Modern Warfare. So you'll remember that map. It's a great map. Really, really close combat. Really tight. There's an enemy around every corner. You are going to be killed and you're going to get loads of kills. Yeah, I mean, this is... This is my favourite map from the whole pack. I love this map. I mean, I'm definitely one of those players that likes playing sort of free fall on these type maps because I always like the chaos. So this just everywhere you turn, you've got an enemy right like right behind you. You're always going to have someone spawning behind you, so you want to constantly be watching out. SMG again for this map. But the cool thing about this is the way that it's been redesigned. It's designed this kind of sort of game show death arena. It reminds me a bit of uh, Saints Row the Third, where you've got Professor Genki's kind of death game show thing. Um, but there are different sections in here that seem to open up during the game. So you can see at the moment there's a doorway that at the beginning of the yeah, game. Yeah, you've got to watch for those because. People will then sit back there with a yes, sniper rifle exactly. sometimes. So you've got you do have two styles of play happening in this map. Yeah, yeah. Right at the start, it's all very kind of chaotic, like you know, just running around killing everyone you see. But then it does start to give you a little bit more breathing room, so you can sort of start sneaking around. But yeah, definitely want to watch out for those guys as well. Ready. And finally, there's Dynasty, which is probably one of my favourite maps, set in China, medium size. and uh, it seems quite conventional at first, but it's got some real hidden secrets in it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's. As you said, it's medium sized, but there's sort of these two to three tiers to it. You've got kind of the underlying sort of sewer layer where you've got these sort of tunnels down underground, so you can want to watch out, especially on these bridges you're here. You see, you can look down and you can kind of shoot people from there. So you want to watch out. Then you've got the kind of the, the main level, and there's a few sort of stairways going up to these slightly higher up buildings with some windows that can look down. So, and you've what I liked, Alex, was the fact that there's lots of interiors, and mm. when you think you're in the interiors, you think you're safe, but there's loads of windows. Yeah, the windows. So there's lots of sight lines to shoot from the outside in and in and out. That is very true. That is true, actually. And I mean, the thing as well, being a medium-sized map, there when you're outside in these sort of like long corridors, you've got quite sort of a lengthy sight line, and they are quite clear, so you can, you know, there are some sort of areas to snipe. But a lot of the time, when you get inside again, it's very sort of close quarters. So they, I mean, a lot of these maps, they do seem to be sort of focused on the old sort of close quarter combat, which is which suits me perfectly. You know, I am an SMG player. But but um, I know some people prefer the, the longer, sort of wider maps. Uh, let's uh, pretend that. You'll buy a bot. <laughs> yeah, actually, to that point, um, the reason I'm playing against bots is because whenever I, I like to do this, whenever I get to a new map, I always like to kind of go up against bots, learn the map, learn the layout, learn the spawns, and also try and discover the field orders as well. So there is a legitimate reason why I'm going against bots. Um, and obviously, also, I tend to lose online. But anyway, uh, yeah, so that, the, they are the four maps. That is the Nemesis pack, uh, Nemesis DLC, now available. So make sure you go and check it out. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to add the official upload gamer tag as a friend. Stay up to date on all of our latest videos, and we will catch you next time.